exercise 3.3 here we learn geometric mean a geometric mean is defined as a n root of the product of n position observation and it is denoted by g here the geometric mean which is denoted by g and this is the formula n that's depend on what number of observation is given in the question and the all the observation will be num will be numberized x and it will all depend on what number of information is given in the question which you will understand more while going in the solution with this formula which will be continue after this exercise 3.3 on your page number 84 where we are going to learn about the geometric mean and the formula is the most easiest to remember so let's start with the first one the following data shows the number of book read by the eighth student of a class during the last month is 21591324. Find the average number of book by using geometric mean. Now for the geometric mean, we need n and the x. Let's first take the information in the book as the eighth student information is given which will be denoted as a n. Art student k, these are the different information is given which will be denoted as a x1 to 8 like there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 numbers are there so here we'll denote as a x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 x7 x8 which is given in the formula jitni information diye utne x you have to keep under the root huh? so let's start with the n where the number of students are 8 put the root and take the information which is given in the question that is 2 and that has to be multiplied the dot means the multiply x2 is 1 multiply by 5 multiply by 9 1 3 2 and 4 after this just get all this number under root get them all multiply you will get 2 1 6 0 Now here you can see the number 2160 which is under root and n is 8. Now to find out this just hold your calculator type 2160. The root is given 8. When you type the 1 root that is the 2. Second time that is for the 2 twos are 4. Third time that is 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8 and that's what your answer will be that is 2.61 that's it the third number is 0 so no need to increase any digit over here so answer will be 2.61 now here I will explain about this n when it is given in the geometric mean to find the root on this number n will be in your syllabus n is going to come in even number Matlab multiplication of 2 will come so whenever it is given like Two, the one root have to be once only you have to press the square root if it is given 4 if the n is given 4 then 2 times because 2 twos are becomes 4 because this is the 8 we multiply the third time because 2 twos are 4 4 twos are 8 so to find out the square root of for the even number the directly we can do by pressing the square root on the multiplication of 2 this is how you have to find out in the geometric mean and don't worry for the odd, odd number because in your book there is no odd numbers geometric mean is going to come. So here you have to keep that the two se multiplication wala hi, aapke samne square root aega. and whatever it comes you can make it calculate like how many times you have to press the square root. This is how you have to go with the calculation to find out square root. Moving to the next question. The value of machine depreciate by the rate of 10%, 7%, 5%, 2% in the first four, 4 years respectively. Find the average rate of depreciation by using appropriate method. Now the value of machine depreciate. Matlab ke machine ke value itne itne percentage se kam hoti ja rahi hai 4 years mein. So this is how we are going to make a calculation that when the machines amount must be 100 where the first year depreciation 10 depreciation matlab minus karna the value of machine is going to be reduced by 10 percent so reduce means 
get it minus. So 100 minus 10, the machine value must be 90%. For the second year, out of 100, get minus with 7. Means for the next time, it is 93%. Same way for the remaining percentage, depreciation percentage, get it minus out of 100. 100 minus 5, the value of machine must be 95. Next, for 2, we'll take it as a 98. So here we get the information of x1, x2, x3 and x4. Now by taking this information into formula, that is for the geometric mean, where we found the n, that is 4, the number of 4 years information and the information of uh, after depreciation is 90 into 93 into 95 to 98. Get them multiply that is 7, 7, 9, 2, 4, 7, double, 0. Now here the square root is 4. So twice. Do bara press karna square root. That is 2 twos are 4. So you will get the answer over here is 93.954. Now this number is less. So no number of digit is going to increase of 5. Will remain it 93.95. Now that's what the answer for this question. Next question number 3. A taxi travelled 15 km on Monday and 254 km on Tuesday. Find the average distance travelled this two days using geometric mean. Now out of this information when it is talking about the two days. So that means n is equal to 2. And the information of the travelling kilometer that is x1 will be 15 and x2 will be 254. Let's keep into the formula to find out the geometric mean x1 into x2 and here n n is 2 under root x1 is 15 into 254 first let's get multiply 15 into 254 you will get 43810 and here only two so only once you have to press square root you will get the correct answer here here actually the answer is 3810 not 43810 the multiplication of 15 into 254 you will get 3810 and only 2 is written so once only press your square root or in your calculator you will get 61.725 now the third number is 5 so we can increase this digit by 61.73 so that's what will be your answer of the third question and here we complete the exercise 3.3